The key to a successful large language model is its underlying data set. If the data set which the model has been pre-trained on or fine-tuned on is of good quality, there is every chance that the model or the LLM would be of higher quality. A good and quality data set doesn't guarantee the success of model, but it does increase the odd of model being of superior quality. But if the data set is of average quality, then there is no chance that your model will be a success, no matter how much hardware you throw on it. That is why having a data set of good quality is paramount. A synthetic data set in AI is a collection of artificially generated data designed to mimic the characteristic of real world data, but produced through algorithms, simulations, or other computational methods. If you are just started to build your own LLM and you're looking for a data set and you are thinking that you might be just able to go to some websites, scroll through them and then gather the whole internet, you are in for a surprise because now um, many of the websites including Reddit and a lot of other websites which were being used by the previous LLM providers are no longer allowing you to create a data set out of their data. So it is becoming increasingly hard to go out in the public on internet in the wild and start gathering the data and that is why the popularity of synthetic data set is increasing day by day. Synthetic data sets are often used to supplement limited or biased real world data, enabling the researchers to train and test AI models more efficiently. They can be generated through various techniques such as data augmentation, generative adversarial networks or GANs, or procedural modeling. Synthetic data sets offer several benefits, including improved data privacy, of course, reduced data collection costs, and increased control over data distribution and quality. These synthetic data sets are quite commonly used in applications like NLP, vision, and also reinforcement learning, and that enables your model to learn from diverse and realistic scenarios. But how do you create a data set? Synthetic, I mean. Well, there are various tools, and one of those tools is called as Distill Label, which is a framework for synthetic data and AI feedback for engineers who need fast, reliable, and scalable pipeline based on verified research paper. I already have covered Distill Label in this video, so just search with Distill Label on my channel, and you should be able to find this video which I did around four months ago, which takes you step by step as how can even you create a synthetic data set by using free Google Colab from scratch. Now, in this video, I'm going to share with you yet another free tool called as Datacraft, which is an experimental tool that allows you to easily create high quality data set for training and fine tuning models. This tool leverages the power of Distri label and advanced language models to generate synthetic data tailored to your specific needs. You can do a lot of things with this tool, just going to this Hugging Face page and I will drop the link to it in video's description. You can define the characteristics of your desired application. You can generate system prompt automatically. You can create sample data set for quick iteration. You can even produce full scale data set with customizable parameter. And then you can even push your generated data set directly to the Hugging Face Hub. So by using this distill label data craft, you can rapidly prototype and create data sets for accelerating your AI model or whatever you are using for it. And the good thing is that it is free. It is free because it is using Hugging Face free serverless inference endpoints. Uh, the only problem is that they are rate limited, but they are free to use for anyone um, on the Hugging Face Hub. And you can even use the Hugging Face pipeline again and again from your local code. So now we know what is synthetic data, what is distill label, what is this data craft, and then what is AI model. Now let's try to use it. I'm already logged in. So first time you will go to this page, you will see that a black button here asking you to log into Hugging Face. I'm already logged in with my Hugging Face ID. It's a free account which you can create. And then 
the cool thing is that once uh, you decide that what sort of tool you are going to build instead of giving the data set prompts all you need to do is to just describe what sort of AI tool you're looking to build and for which you need the data set. So for example, in, in this example, it is saying assistant that solves complex math problems using Python. The assistant always answers in Python to problem described in natural language. And then click on generate sample. And you will see that this is the prompt it has created. You can even fine tune it and regenerate the sample if you don't like this one. And this is a sample data set it has generated. You can even regenerate the sample data set. Once you are ready, you can just um, generate the full data set by clicking here. And then once you you've clicked on it, it is creating the data set. And then it is pushing there. So you see how good is that? So this is your whole completion data set which it has generated. There you go, all the 10 rows. And of course, you can increase the rows. And it has even published it on my hugging face page let me see if uh if it, it has really published it has okay there you go so it is in my repo here it has uh, even given me how i can run it on hugging face with distri label pipeline there you go and they have also given the citation here and there are a few examples how can you lay, load it by using this data sets library very nice but you would have to install it with pip install data sets but looks really cool so going back here if you want to run it through code they have also given this whole code of course you would just first need to install distri label and then from there you can run simply this pipeline where you can specify your model what you want to use to create data data set because it's a synthetic data set it is using an ea model to generate that and then you can just pass it on through your uh, pipeline give some hyperparameters, how many rows you want batch size and then some system prompt if you want and then which columns you want to keep in your data set that's it how good is that so i will drop the link to it in video description play around with it let me know what do you think um, really cool stuff but i think uh, one thing if you are really looking to generate a full data set with it i think you would need to uh, log into the hugging face hub and you might have to buy some credit but still i think it would be very cost effective especially um, if you are looking to build something for instruction following dialogue generation or even llm as a judge so accelerate your ai development with tools like this because i think and this could be real cool and just as a fun fact like uh, i think open herms 1 million has which is a data data set of 1, 1 million uh, records has been generated by distri level for example and there are various other data sets which uh, i know have been generated with this so it's pretty cool play around with it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you